Today we're looking at Cavalier Eggshell by Don Schreckengost. Uh, this was developed in 1951 and 1952 and then released in production shortly thereafter. When we looked at eggshell lines before, we focused on Georgian eggshell and theme eggshell and eggshell Nautilus in particular. Those three became very good sellers for Homer Lachlan in the 1940s and 1950s. And that practice is extended with Cavalier eggshell. And this is the last of the eggshell lines. So if I take a step back and try to get some more pieces in one frame, you can see a very defining characteristic with Cavalier in that these rims all have this underglazed band in different colors and then the decals sort of coordinate with them. These bands are also repeated on the bases of the hollowware. But not all treatments have these colored bands. For example, this one doesn't. This one, I believe, is Somerset does not either. It has a little line at the bottom, but no band. We'll look at a couple pieces of advertising real quick. Uh, this one's South Wind with our, our beige band, and it's CV75. This shows the full assortment for Cavalier. A um, couple pickup pieces. The shakers come from Jubilee. The soup cereal comes from Charm House. And the tea, I'm sorry, the Demitasse cup is a modified version of the Jubilee Demitasse cup. They just changed the, the uh, handle. Uh, the shakers, we can see some Jubilee shaped shakers that were picked up for Cavalier lines. Another advertisement, this is Romance in Blue. Uh, this is treatment number CV67. We have an example over here we can compare. Sometimes that's just called Romance, but in this particular advertisement, it's Romance in Blue. In fact, we'll jump to this one. Uh, this is from 1959, and it shows four of the patterns on Cavalier Eggshell. Uh, Cavalier Eggshell Dinnerware, Edged in Priceless Platinum. And we see romance. A couple advertising slicks of springtime and Avalon. I want to show these two in particular because we saw this treatment last time um, on Charm House with Duraprint in the form of uh, Frolic. So here they're making use of the decal again. And the same time, same thing with springtime, they're making use of the Blue Want decal from uh, that's Sky Tone. And you can see that Blue Want decal on this piece of Cavalier. So Homer Lachlan was very good of uh, making the most of a treatment. And we have a couple little pocket calendars here I wanted to look at since they uh, have Cavalier on them as well. So they would make these every year and feature a shape on different years. This is 1955. This one which has Cavalier is 54. Here's Highland Plaid. We looked at that last time with uh, Duraprint and Charm House. That's from 1953. Another Highland plaid from, 19, well, that's two 1953s. Some underglaze transfer wear in the form of Blue Willow. This is 1952. Valley Flower, which is on debutante from 1951. Blue Willow again, this is an earlier version, 1946. Georgian eggshell from 1941, and then we have three uh, general Homer Lachlan ones showing plant number four in the main offices. This one is 1929, uh, 1925, and finally 1917. So those are always fun to find, uh, the little pocket calendars. So back to Cavalier um, markings. Most will be marked with the Cavalier back stamp and a date code. And here we have one from 1953, Cavalier Eggshell K53N8. Uh, you're going to find that most of them are going to be made in plant number 5, however, but the earlier ones are made in plant number 8. You will also see markings from jobbers and distributors. For example, this one has an overglaze decal marking uh, with the Hanover. Uh, the treatment name's Paradise. And here we have another example here. This one's marked uh, Sevron. Blue Lace, uh, America's Distinctive Dinnerware, Newark, New York. So you will find different markings on Cavalier, but for the most part it's going to be the underglaze Cavalier eggshell marking. Now, this shape is on the cusp of what is and isn't marked. Because by the time you get to the late 1950s, they start marking dinner plates and platters only, and hollowware sort of gets left behind. So we look at this sugar bowl, 
and it has an early 1953 marking. This one is marked uh, 1955, and this one isn't marked at all. So if you're going, if you find unmarked pieces, it's not that surprising. It's probably going to be later Cavalier. Um, one thing about this sugar bowl, I knew that this was an early piece because it has a little decal on the finial. You're not going to see that too often because they had a lot of problems with that. That's a small convex shape uh, or concave shape and the decals would blister so it was not an easy thing to do to put those little decals on the top of the finials. Another thing about Cavalier you will find a lot of state plates using Cavalier blanks. So these would have been pieces that had gotten their underglaze rim but not finished out and so another pottery or a small decorating firm would purchase these and then uh, put these decals on them and the gold stamps and then fire them. Um, this one's not marked. Look at our Tennessee plate. That's got Cavalier eggshell from 1954. You will find all 50 states. You will also find um, the District of Columbia. Not only on Cavalier shapes, but uh, other plates as well. So, one thing I didn't show is the Cavalier coffee pot. It was originally modeled early on and, and then not used until Tiffany Rose. But we'll talk about the coffee pot when we look at Tiff Tiffany Rose in detail. Because we have to come back to Cavalier eventually and talk about Cunningham and Pickett and Lifetime China and Century Service. And, and so we'll be looking at Cavalier and Rhythm in more detail with respect to those lines. So that's going to be about it for Cavalier. There's, there's not a lot to say about this shape. This is pretty straightforward. This is hugely successful for Homer Lachlan. You go into any antique mall today you, or even a thrift store, you're going to find Cavalier eggshell. Um, so it's very common. It's uh, fun to collect. You can get all these different patterns and all these different colors and you put them together and it makes for a nice display. Uh, that's going to be it for now. Next time we're going to look at Epicure.